A body is moving unidirectionally under the influence of constant power. Its displacement in time t is proportional to. In this question, power is constant. We have to find out the relation between displacement and time. We know power is equals to force into velocity. But don't take in vector representation. Just consider theta is equals to 0 degrees. Then power formula becomes to force into velocity. Force is equals to mass into acceleration into velocity. We know acceleration is equals to rate of change of velocity. Initially the body is at rest position. Then acceleration is equals to velocity by time. Velocity is equals to acceleration into time. Substitute here. Mass into acceleration into. So in place of V, A into T. Then M A square T. From this, acceleration is equals to square root of power by mass into time. To give the relation between displacement and time, take the equations of motion. S is equals to ut plus half at square. So what is our assumption here? Initially body starts from the rest position. So this term becomes to zero. Displacement is equals to half into in place of acceleration substitute square root of p by mt into t square. Now S is equals to half square root of P by M and write this time 1 by T power 1 by 2. Here T square. Power constant, mass of the body also constant, 2 is constant. So S directly proportional to T power 2 minus 1 by 2. Then displacement is directly proportional to T power 3 by 2. Second option is correct.